So today's story is about um, my troll rogue, one of my earliest characters. This is the first character I got to level 60. I actually had a 51 night elf rogue that I got tired of playing. But this character, uh, he had a whole guild, mostly rogues, that he was the leader of. Let me see if I can remember how I started this character. I think I had made an undead priest, and I didn't get very far with it because it was really slow leveling. I didn't really like it. And I'd been in the uh, sepulcher area, you know, where the... Uh, all those undead are, and the undead level up down there, and Tears of Glades. And there are those skeleton uh, mobs that run around, and they're called Ravenclaw Soldiers, or something like that. And I'd also been watching a lot of Harry Potter at the time, so that's one of the four schools in Hogwarts. So I named my guy Ravenclaw. And I had seen a troll mage kick somebody's ass, so I thought maybe I would go with a troll. And they also have regeneration and um, berserking, so that's good for a rogue. You can get your energy back a little faster, I think. So I named him Ravenclaw with a K. This caused a little bit of controversy because when I actually got to level 60, there was an undead rogue who had named himself Raven's Claw, like S-C-L-A-W, and he thought I had copied him, only he got level 60 like a week or two before I did. So basically, my guild was a bunch of pirates. This was back before I knew anything about doing 40-man raids and Molten Core and all that. I was still pretty much a noob, but I was a guild leader and had all these guys that was... I think there was over 100 of us, and so there'd be 30 40 of us online at a time. Now, I wanted like 75% rogues, because you're still going to need people like mages and hunters and somebody to resurrect you like a priest. You need somebody healing the whole group, but oh, actually, what we wanted people that are not rogues for, this is what we would do. I almost named the guild Border Patrol, because it was going to be like, you know how you have uh, areas that are PvP and areas that are safe. We were going to hang out on the borders and keep people from coming in. We would ambush people as they crossed over. And also, we were just going to uh, just attack boats, and uh, we'd go to Menethil Harbor and just jump onto the boats and just take them over and kill anybody that tried to get on their own boats, so the Lions would really get pissed off at us. So since it was just like a band of rogues that were all attacking boats, I decided to call it the Ravenclaw Pirates. So we had 75% rogues, and we would all go walking down a road somewhere, stealthed. We were invisible. Nobody could see us. So somebody would just come wandering along on a horse, all of a sudden they have 30 people just cheap shotting them and backstabbing them and they're fucking owned. So we had these people that were non-rogues to kind of be the bait. They'd have like uh, five or ten of us going down a road invisible. Then have like a one, like a low-level mage walking along with us. Doesn't look like he's got much of an army with him, it's just him, you know. And somebody comes along to attack him and all of a sudden they all get killed. So that was really fun. I like the concept of it. It's uh, back before the battleground, so you didn't have like... PvP all the time. You could just go into a game. This is back when everybody would uh, go to Hillsbread and fight between Turn Mill and South Shore. Everybody would just have a big rape fest. Or you couldn't even get any quests done. There was so much fighting going on. But uh, my guild, we would go to the wetlands. That's where we like to do our PvP mostly. Because there's a big long road, and then you have Menethil Harbor over here. And if you go, there's a, like a split in the road that goes up towards um, Arathi Highlands. So we would just walk up and down this road. There's always people coming along there mainly like level 40s or 30s and we were all like level 30 35 i think when we started doing the wetlands and we would just kill people like level 60s would come along and there'd be like five or six of us at least so we would just kill level 60s and they would be like there's a bunch of level 30s down here so they'd call all their friends then a bunch of 60s would come down to take care of us and we would all stealth, and we would go like 40 50 feet off into the swamps you know and just kind of hide in the water and watch for them to leave and then we'd come back get somebody alone, beat their ass, run away. Just really wanted to be like annoying pests, and we were. This is me in my Halloween outfit. I have the white swashbuckler shirt on, the captain's hat, and the sword, and I got a fish in my other hand. So it was kind of a funny Halloween thing. And actually, I was the, uh, like my guild had different ranks, and I was the admiral because I was the leader. And then level 60s, they were uh, captains. And then you had level 50 to 59s, they were first mates. And on down through like swashbucklers and pirates and deckhands. And then uh, the lowest level was shark bait. But then we had another level for this one guy. Only one guy got this rank. It was called the Swabby. Because he was kind of annoying. And he was just kind of a pest. So we called him the Swabby. And he liked it. He wanted to be the Swabby. So. And I think there was one guy that was a cook. So we had a Swabby and a cook. And then like different ranks from like 10 to 60. And uh, this is what I actually look like. This is my... I had all the 7 out of 8 of the Shadowcraft set, except for the hat. I had the Ebon Mask. And the uh, the lightsaber-looking thing is the sword from the 
Strathome Quest. The Argent Avenger. Yeah. And I had purple hair, which is cool, and I wore that uh, blue Ultrac Valley tabard, which kind of makes me look Hawaiian. Which I like. I look pretty cool, darn. Like a freaking ninja. This was on um, Burning Legion. I had uh, a guild on there that broke off from another guild. I think we called it Treachery. And uh, I had some friends on there. Oddly enough, they're Australians. Like, even on YouTube, my best friends are Australians. It's the Australians love me for some reason, but, uh... Yeah, my two friends from Australia were Whole Wreath, who was a Taran Druid, and the girl, uh, Undead Mage Kalima. And, uh, she wasn't actually in the guild till later on. So we had a guild named Treachery that, after I got to level 60, you know, my Ravenclaw Pirates guild didn't really have the same interest as it had when I was level 30. So I wanted to get some better gear and actually do something fun, so I joined this other guild. And the Ravenclaw Pirates, I had to give somebody else the leadership of it, because you can't really just disband a guild with, like, 100-something people. So I tried to sell the leadership in Orgrimmar. I was, like, yelling out, you know, 25 gold and you can be the leader of this guild. It's a bunch of new brogues, but nobody took the bait. So I finally just picked somebody at random and made him the leader. And then I think somehow the guild turned into like one of those Chinese farming guilds that were like gold farmers. So let me go through some photos here. Um, this one is the Duskwing Bat in Eastern Plaguelands, which we killed with just three of us. There was a Warlock, Joppa, who was a good friend of mine, and a Whole Wreath there and me. So Rogue, Druid, and Warlock killed uh, Duskwing. Here's the giant spider Shadra, the spider god that I killed in, um, is in the hinterland. You have to go to that spider altar with all the trolls and summon him up. There was, uh, I think three of us killed that thing too. That was pretty hard with just three guys. Got my gun out there. And here's Volchan from Burning Steps. Uh, Whole Wreath there and Snowcloud that was a hunter. She was our guild leader at one time, I think. Here's a different picture of uh, Kalima and Whole Wreath and some other guy. And this is my 60 hunter named Recall. I don't really have a lot of stories about Recall. He's pretty cool, but I don't really remember anything special about him. I do remember I was working on leveling up a pet pig, because pigs are really just awesome pets if you're a hunter. And before that, I had a pet owl, which was really great. He did, like, awesome damage. You want to get rid of your bite skill and just put claw, because claw has no cooldown. It's just claw, claw, claw. Just constantly clawing people. And uh, one thing I would do with them is... Uh, there's a place, just as you're going into Booty Bay, there's a big tunnel. You can get behind this tree and hop up on this hill. You can get on top of that thing. Then if you have, like, uh, Beast Mastery, you can control your pet for a really long time. Just control your pet and send him into Booty Bay and start killing people with your pet. You can control your pet for, like, a full two minutes or something. You could send him way off somewhere and kill people. Nobody even sees you because you're not around. Get way the hell off in another state. I remember the hunters, when we did our boat raids and we were like taking over boats, we always had a hunter stand on the side of the boat and shoot people with arrows as we came into the docks. And then we would, they'd all be softened up for us rogues just come out and rape everybody. And here's another picture with my recall character. He's flexing, as you can see, and he's got a pet scorpion named Ankle Biter, which is cool. We decided we were all going to type slash flex and see if we could get a screenshot of it at the same time. So we got this rogue down here and the Klima and Whole Wreath and me and my pet. This is where we just killed the Borogor giant. Uh, worm over in Eastern Plaguelands. That day, I think we just decided we were going to go around killing lots of giant things and taking screenshots of it. That's uh, just something we came up to do for fun. And uh, while we're going through all these photos, let me just show you another picture of Recall. This was in Alterac uh, Valley Battlegrounds, and uh, there's an enemy mage who apparently went AFK, so I snuck up next to him and kneeled behind him so it looks like he had me in a headlock. And I'm using my barbarous blade with the fiery enchant. <laughs> it's pretty funny. He's just standing there and I'm just getting my head squeezed. Now also on this Burning Legion server I had a level 50 something mage that I made. And this is him. His name is Murlox. And he's got a big mohawk. So he looks like one of those Murloc fish people. So that's why I named him that. He's undead mage and I uh, wasn't very good with a mage. Like I remember getting my ass kicked by a level 51 and I was like level 55 I think at the time. This was over just south of Thorium Point. Which Thorium Point's like a bitch because it's like always full of alliance and if you're undead you're gonna get fucked over right there even though it's kind of a neutral flight path everybody's supposed to be sharing it but the uh, alliance just flies straight down from ironforge so i had some uh, 51 mage kill me over and over again so i switched and got ravenclaw i rode down there he had an epic raptor so he was really fast and i uh, killed this guy so i start camping him killing this little 51 guy over and over and he decides to log out and get on his 60 priest who had like the benediction staff and all epic out so i would just like hang back and 
and watch her. Didn't even attack the priest. And then she would think I'm gone. She would switch back onto her 51 mage. And then I would just immediately kill him again. So I griefed this guy for like an hour one day. Just because I was so pissed off. So that's one thing about rogues that are good for getting revenge on people. And Ravenclaw was not to be trifled with. 